I'm waiting to get into the uh, zoo. I guess they're doing some sort of promo shoot with the ABC. The problem is, it's 10 a.m. and the zoo's supposed to be opening right now, and I have no idea how long they're going to do this. People seem to get tickets. We need to go to the member window because we've got our card. But yeah, all this is kind of taking time, and then once they finally have one in, it's just going to be a mad rush and a just big line. It's very frustrating. It seems not very organized. No one knows what's going on. Imagine if we're coming up and you just see a bunch of caution tape. Like, what's going on? I think this is a promo, but again, they haven't really said anything. It's very frustrating. We have a kind of a packed day, so we can't stay too long. We just wanted to come for some of the Boo at the Zoo stuff, but. <sighs> And then after that, we're going to go to Six Flags just for a little bit and then head to the Dodger Games now. So we really have a packed day and we can't be like waiting all this time. Yeah, the uh, pumpkin can really see it. There's a booth, there's a media check in there. Finally, some signs, but yeah, when we came, they're still putting up crash and tape like 10 minutes before. Like, that's really late. If they should have, if they were going to do that, they should have done it much before opening rather than have everyone else inconvenienced. So I guess it was actually a suspicious package show over there. The problem is, is that they're not saying anything. You're assuming that it's just some sort of promotion because they had like a media check-in for Boo at the Zoo. And everyone's just being told to go back. It's kind of... This is how misinformation gets spread. There's no like communication between the police and the people. There's your problem. And now we don't know like when it's going to be open, if they're going to reschedule the feedings, which is why we came. Oh, uh, if I had known, yeah, of course, if I had known this, we'd have just gone to Six Flags right away, but of course we couldn't have known this. <sighs> this is why it's really important to have media spokespeople at the ready, especially on the weekend. Yeah. Well, I guess I, uh, <laughs> they really have no idea when they're going to open, and uh, we'd actually talk to someone from the zoo, and they don't know what's going on, so <laughs> we're just going to head over to um, Magic Mountain now. Unfortunately, we're not going to be there right when it opens, obviously, yeah, but... 20 minutes about. <laughs> yeah. So we'll be a bit late for that. Oh, well. Uh, at least we cut our loss. I mean, as much as we could. Hey, Neon. Just wanted to give you a quick update about what actually happened that day at the zoo. So someone in their infinite wisdom decided they wanted to drop off a injured possum at the zoo in a box. A bunch of holes and everything, so it was fine, but... You know, the zoo is not the place to drop off an injured possum. There's animal services, like for the county, the city, even things like uh, shelters and such. So, you know, dropping off a package, an unmarked package, at a public place where lots of people congregate is going to draw the uh, bomb squad, which is what happened. What was uh, a little bit weird, and you saw it, you saw the video right there, is it was confusing because it was, looked like there was going to be a media event. They had a little kind of standy saying like media check-in and everything and channel 7 was already there when we arrived and there was no caution tape just looked like they're setting up for some sort of photo or video shoot to promote Boo at the Zoo which was in its first weekend there so like oh and then they just start rolling out the caution tape oh it's some you know just part of the event right and no one's ever like giving any indication it starts getting near the opening time Okay, why, why, why are they behind the schedule? We need to go and, you know, get inside. You know, eventually it seems like, okay, it's more serious, but how serious is this? No, you know, eventually we do leave. Turns out, you know, as I said, it was just a possum. Like, <laughs> but, and I, you know, it is funny now, but I do appreciate that they took the threat seriously. You don't want to have someone not take it seriously and then, turns out to be a whole lot worse. So I do appreciate that. Just wish there was a bit more communication, not necessarily about what they were doing. Just like, hey, we don't know how long it's going to take, but you know, it is a serious matter and the zoo may or may not open at some point during the day. And I think it would have been nice if the zoo had taken those special uh, animal feedings, which were only that day, and at 11 and 11.30, so people you know, who came specifically for that, which is what Julie and I did, could you know, see it at a later time or later date, preferably. But they never did that, and according to their Facebook page, when someone asked, the feedings went off as scheduled, even though according to the LA Times articles I read, it said the zoo opened at 11.30 after that. And those feedings are supposed to be 11 and 11.30, so they didn't go as scheduled. Maybe they were rescheduled, but again, that wasn't communicated. Nobody knew. And it was just frustrating that we never got to see that. I really wanted to see the lion feeding and the Komodo dragon feeding, but... For some reason, like, the zoo doesn't do regular feedings, like, at least announced feedings, other than, uh, 
during October, which is disappointing. It seems like a good educational experience, something to drive traffic during the week. And of course, don't feed animals more often than they should. If it's a monthly feeding, do it, a, do it every month. If it's a weekly, you know, so on and so forth, right? But it would be a cool thing, like here, you know, that'd be pumpkin, you know, pumpkins are for October, but just give them their normal food. I just want to watch a lion go grab a carcass or whatever it is. So yeah, that, that was a bit disappointing, but again, I'm glad they took it with the seriousness that it should have been taken with, but I just wish there was more communication once, you know, the threat had passed.